Hi friends. I thought it was time to do an update to my earlier video, Saxophone Modification After Hand Injury, as I recently came across an exciting alternative. As I discussed in my earlier video, I was originally a soprano clarinetist, but had to look for other options when I lost my, when I lost my left index, my middle finger, and my ring finger. Now they were able to attach the ring finger, which created in itself some additional issues. My earlier video, though, described how a saxophone could be modified to allow me to play a single reed instrument again. I mentioned in that video that we had also modified a bass clarinet, which I never did a follow-up video on because, quite honestly, it wasn't that different. But bass clarinet has been my major instrument over the past couple of years. If someone wants me to do one on bass clarinet, just ask and I'll be happy to do that. As you know, the soprano B-flat clarinet seemed to be out of my reach because the instrument, for the most part, is open hold, and modifications to fix that would have been impractical and somewhat difficult. Well, about three weeks ago, while visiting our local music store, Milano's Music in Mesa, Arizona, the clarinetist working at the bound counter asked me if I had seen the plateau clarinet made by the German company Ubel, U-E-B-E-L. I had not, so I went right home and started my research. Fortunately for me, Michael Lowenstern at Earspasm.com had already done a video demonstrating the instrument, and I immediately ordered the one that he had in stock. Michael is great. You all probably know who he is. I can't recommend him enough. The Plateau Clarinet, developed by Ubel, was not just a simple job of slapping closed holes on their superior model clarinet. This instrument was designed from the ground up to function well as a plateau instrument. It is a very high quality and engineered to produce a sound which effectively bypassed many of the issues of the student instruments in the 60s and 70s, particularly their stuffiness. Upon receipt of the instrument, I went right to my technician, Randy, at Axe Repair in Mesa, and we began problem solving how to make the correct extensions. I have to say there are n there's none better than Randy. He is a fantastic technician, and he will not rest until it's right. In this particular case, it was relatively easy to find a way to do this. We developed a way that the extensions themselves, which I 3D printed, could be attached onto the plateau with a threaded screw. This then allowed for rapid removal, quick repositioning, and fine-tuning of exactly how they were done. I also 3D printed a pad for the ring finger, which allows me to sit a little higher so I can miss easily the G-sharp, C-sharp level lever. Working out a seamless solution for throat tones will take time. You can tell that we've tried some cork. We're still working on it. Getting over the break is going to take a little bit of work. But the result is nothing less than fantastic. The instrument sounds great. It plays effortlessly, has great intonation, and most importantly, allows me to play my primary instrument again. Of course, I haven't played soprano for like 15 to 20 years, so I'm not very good right now. Issues with voicing and tonguing, and I'll play a clip of some basics that I've put together for you here. I also wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the technical aspects of this instrument. First of all, th this is not a student instrument. It is not designed that way, and it shares all of the positive attributes of a pro-line horn. The keywork is rock solid, extremely well finished. 
Um, as you can imagine, Randy had to dismantle the keys, tweak position. The key work is top-notch, extremely sturdy, and equal to or greater than anything produced by professional models by the major manufacturers. The machining is just top-notch. It is clear that the key work was designed to accommodate the plateaus, as was the tone holes, with additional adjustment screws for ease of tweaking. tweaking. The clarinet is truly voiced to make stuffiness nearly non-existent. As we all know, preference of a professional line clarinet is totally subjective, and it as it needs to be. However, Ubel did this one right. For someone with my mechanical issues or someone with significant neuropathies, this was worth every penny. I can't say more that I'm able to play again, and in a few weeks I'll get better and should be able to sit in band and play a number of parts. So, kudos to you, Ubel. Thank you for doing this. And for anybody out there that needs a plateau clarinet, this is worth it. Thanks.